Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video that I have something pretty crazy to talk to you guys about. I have two uteruses, two cervixes, and I did have two vaginas. The way I found out was kind of interesting. Ever since I was really young, I had not been able to use tampons at all. All of my friends would kind of like ridicule me because I, I wasn't using tampons and all of them could easy peasy and I felt like there was something wrong with me because every time I would try to put a tampon in, it would feel like there was like a wall blocking it. I would literally sit on the bathroom floor with a mirror for hours on end trying to get it in. Oh, hi Piper, baby. Oh, she loves to come cuddle me. This is Piper. Oh baby. Um, so yeah, obviously that wasn't working for me and I kind of gave up on it for a while, for a good while. Then I started dating my now husband and we believe in abstinence so we don't have sex until marriage. So it wasn't an issue for us during our courtship. But once we got engaged, I kind of remembered and I was like, oh dang. If I can't get a tampon in, what am I gonna do? So I went to see my doctor about it, which I probably should have done a long time ago, but I didn't. Anyway, she, uh, you know, explored down there and she, uh, she didn't see anything. She said I looked normal and that I probably had something called vaginismus, which I'm sure some of you are aware of. It's not that uncommon. It's basically like involuntary muscle contractions or tightening of the um, vaginal muscles um, when something is inserted. So I was like, okay, I've kind of heard of this and I've heard that it's kind of curable. So I wasn't like super worried, but she sent me to uh, get an ultrasound just to make sure that I didn't have any abnormal anatomy. So I went for that and after they did the ultrasound, my doctor called me pretty much right away and asked me to come in for a follow-up. The doctor basically sat me down and said, okay, Natalie, this might be like not what you were expecting, but you have a didelphic uterus. And I was like, okay, I've never heard of this. What is this? It turned out that that meant that I have two uteruses. And on top of that, I have also two cervixes, which leads down into a double vagina, but I'll, I'll get there later. So basically how this happens is when you're a baby developing in your mother's womb, um, your own uterus starts off as two separate horns. And during the development stage, those two horns fuse together and the septum in the middle dissolves. So that creates like a normal uterus. But for me, mine didn't fuse or dissolve. So there are some people who have an, an anomaly where it does fuse, but the septum doesn't dissolve. But I have an anomaly where it didn't even fuse or dissolve. So I have two completely separate horns. And because I have two completely separate horns, it leads to two separate cervixes. And then those two separate cervixes created two separate vaginal canals, which is basically one vaginal canal with like a wall going down. So it's kind of like your nose. If you feel your nose, there's two separate nostrils, right? And then there's a septum in the middle and mine was just like that. But you couldn't really see it from the outside at all. So that's why my doctor didn't catch it. I was about a month and a half away from our wedding at this point. And I was like, oh dang, this is a bigger problem than I thought. So my dad, who is a pediatrician, he works at a hospital and he knows some gynecologists there. And he talked to some of them and one of those doctors said that she really wanted to see me. And I went in and she was able to get me in for surgery that week, which is crazy because they had told me that the wait list was like, five months. So I know God had his hand in that. So I went in for surgery on that Friday and it was a pretty minor surgery. They can't fix the uterus at all. The uterus 
stays. I still have my double uterus, I still have my double cervix, but they were able to fix the double vagina. So I got that fixed, it was a minor surgery. The whole surgery, I can do a whole other video on my surgery and how everything went because it was kind of a gong show. Um, so leave a comment down below if you want me to uh, do a story time on my surgery experience. But the surgery went well and I healed up okay in time for our wedding, so that was really awesome. One of the big concerns with uterus didelphus is carrying children. There's not a whole lot of information on uterus didelphus. It's a pretty rare condition. It only affects about one in 2000. So they don't really know a whole lot about it, but there are risks that are involved. The main risks are like preterm labor and just having a smaller baby because the uterus is like half the size, if that makes sense. I know uteruses can stretch a lot, but it's different when you've only got half of what a normal person has, if that makes sense. So as you guys know, I am pregnant with two uteruses. So obviously it's a little bit scary because I don't actually know what everything's gonna look like for me. My pregnancy is not gonna be like your average pregnancy. But right now I'm 17 weeks. If you guys are interested, I'd be more than happy to do a Q&A about my interesting anatomy and my pregnancy and how all of that's going. So leave a comment down below if you're interested. Thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for more content.